All right, y'all, the time is here. DJs, it's official. Serato Stems is here. The official drop, Serato DJ Pro 3.0 is officially out now. Let's go. Everything everyone has been waiting for. Like me personally, I definitely did uninstall Serato um, the beta because I was updating all of my like tracks. I was working in my library and for some reason, some of that stuff wasn't saving. So I actually uninstalled the beta myself just because like I get comments every single day about guys saying, oh, I lost my hot cues. I lost this. I lost that. Um, Why are people getting upset? Like you knew this was a beta. It has been talked about a thousand times. Times, there's a giant red bu like button when you open it up saying warning this is a beta like I do not feel bad for anyone who has a had a problem with this who has crashed in the club I don't care you deserve it because you're an idiot like I'm sorry to say it but that is what it is it's been a beta I know people personally who brought this to the club and like it crashed in the club they look like idiots um, and it is what it is so I'm not gonna call people out it is what it is like Honestly, if, if I didn't really care, I probably would have done the same thing because it's pretty dope. But either way, Serato Stems is here. So no more long talking. We're just doing this video as is. My name is Andrew Lindley, representing the DJ Connect. Uh, and I cannot wait another minute. We're going to download now. So if you don't have this button, it's not a big deal. You really, realistically, you can just go to serato.com. Uh, and it should come here. This is just like the landing page stems and Serato DJ. We got Scratch Bastard killing it. Uh, DJ Light, DJ Pro, fire. It's fire. So if you were new and you just came to Serato.com, you would come here. Products, Serato DJ Pro. Um, if you need Serato DJ Light, obviously you do that. I might, I'll probably do another video on Light, but today we're talking about Serato DJ Pro. Uh, for me, I just hit the free trial because I don't actually have it. I'm not sure if I'm logged in. I am. I am logged in. Um, so you can still download it. Not a big deal. You download Serato DJ Pro. Download. And here we go. Uh, so I, I'll just throw it on my desktop right now. Let's put it in Serato. Serato. Download. No, oh, open, sorry, there we go, download. And while we're waiting for this download to go, like let's check out the recommended specifications. We all know that this is intensive. This is very computer intensive. Um, I never had a problem on my Windows PC. I had a few crashes, but obviously like that's expected. So what's required is a processor 6th gen Intel Core i5. I believe I have an i7 um, 8700. I don't know what gen that is, but uh, with an i7-8700, I had zero problems. I had the odd crash here and there, but as is expected, uh, Ryzen 5 3000, 8 gig memory, which isn't very much. Like in this day and age, that's not very much. I have 32 in my computer, uh, 15 gig storage, SSD recommended for sure. You're going to want SSD. Uh, video memory, dedicated one gig for Serato by itself if using video. For high performance specifications, we're looking at an 8th gen Intel i9. So I don't even have an i9. I have a i7. Um, but honestly, I never had any problems. Speed wise, no problem. Memory, I got all the memory, but they're requiring or recommending 16 gig or higher. Uh, same thing, SSD. Video memory, 2 gig or higher. And that's that. I'm going to back up just so I can look at the uh, Mac specs as well. Let's check out Mac. 2017 or later. Like, I hate to be this guy, but if you're a professional DJ, like, stop stop coming in here with a 2012 MacBook asking me, is this going to work? Like, it might work. It, it might. It might work. But you're a professional. You're supposed to be a professional. Professionals spend money on their gear. We buy the top level things because we're professionals. We're making money. It's called the cost of doing business. Like a lot of times this is something that I got to teach my girlfriend too. Like just the other day for our rental unit, we had to buy a $300 handle set, like a, something you just open the door with. Like it was one of those keyless entries. Um, yeah, it was $300, but we make $1,900 a month on rent. Like it's the cost of doing business. Keep them happy. Like we buy them Christmas presents 
as as the landlords were buying them Christmas presents, I bought them a hundred dollar gift card to Walmart just to hopefully help them out during Christmas. It's the cost of doing business. Like if you want to be a professional business person, you gotta spend money on your business and be a professional. Like long story short, that's it. Uh, processor, the M1, M2 is probably what's recommended. I turned down here. Oh, it's that Intel i9, M1, M2, not a big deal. Uh, so it works. It's going to work on older gear. Like I, again, I never had a problem at all running this. Um, I had the odd crash here and there, but I never had a problem like specif specification wise being able to run this. So high performance specs. We're just going to look at that real quick. 2018 or later, uh, i9, M1, M2, I would definitely just recommend go get the M1, M2, it's incredible. 16 gig RAM, storage, same thing. Video memory, that's uh, interesting. Four gigabyte dedicated video memory. Uh, and that's it. So let's install this thing and let's get into it. So we're just gonna extract this, open it up, install, yeah, agree. Let's check the options, nothing, nothing changed here, install. All right, we're installed, so this is it. Here's the moment of truth. We're going to go to the desktop right now, uh, and we're going to open this up. I'm not really going to dig into it at all and play with it, uh, but we're going to definitely check it out, see if there's any new settings or anything new that we got to check out. Uh, so I moved my icon. That's a good sign, always a good sign. Uh, that's my install folder. Sorry, my desktop is a mess right now. Let's get into it. And boom, right off the hop, we do not have a giant red warning sign saying warning this is a beta don't use this if you use this you are recorded. i feel like i probably got to edit that word out because we're not supposed to use it no more but in situations like this like you are you are. Sometimes you got to take these words back because sometimes like you need a brain. And like if you're using this in the club in a live setting, you do not have a brain. So that is what it is. Uh, stems. We've changed the game with the industries. Best real time audio source separation. Mind blowing feature. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, same thing, Mac OS 13 Ventura support. Uh, I'm probably still not going to update to OS 13 yet. I'm always going to wait. Like, that's what I recommend. Like, I normally, I do not update anything. Like, I keep it. If something is working, I don't update it at all. Um, but that's just me. So I'm definitely going to be waiting on this OS 13 Ventura support. Uh, and then updates, you just got the Flex 4 support, blah, 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 S9, Scratch Bank support, Silent Q MIDI mapping, uh, same thing, no different. You can get the full list of changes right here if you want that. I'm not too concerned. Um, so let's take a look here. Anything changed? We got anything different? You got your stems here. I haven't seen this button in a while. I am really happy to see that. We got stems here. Uh, everything looks the same. Library stems are here. You can definitely preload. This is where you would come to preload stems. If not, you'd be doing it in real time. So again, if you have an older computer, I would recommend that you do a lot of your analyzing beforehand. Do not wait to analyze your music. Actually use this feature. I don't because my computers are new. Like I don't care. I can do the, I can do the analyzing on the fly. I'm not concerned by that. Uh, what do we got? Demo tracks are still here. Uh, nothing new, really. It's all the same stuff. Analyze. Everything looks the same. Honestly, I don't see any changes from the beta. Um, the only thing we're going to find out, I'll do another video actually testing this thing out tonight. Uh, and we'll see if everything is working. We'll see if I have any crashes. But right now, everything looks good. Uh, disabled needle jump. I don't even have my controller plugged in, so I can't show you guys how to change this. But when you plug this in and load it, there's going to be a box that pops up here saying change one of your pad mode settings with Serato stems. So you're going to want to enable that. Literally, my thing's still in a box right now, and it's Tuesday. We've talked about this before, like making sure, giving yourself time to practice. I have not given myself time to practice in a while. I'm very upset by that. Uh, but it is what it is. Like, if you want to become great at something, you have to put the time in. And that's that. Uh, analyze stems on the fly. Analyzing stems on song load will speed up stem playback time, but will increase computer load and may have performance impact. So, again, all this is saying is, like, do you want to analyze your tracks when you load them? 
this is where it's going to be very computer intensive. Like if you have an older computer, you don't want to do that. You want to use this over here. You want to pre-analyze everything. Uh, but if you have a good computer, I don't see why not. Like I never had a problem with spec wise. Um, anything like that. When I had a crash, it was like, if I tried to load the same track or something, if I tried to do something weird, it would crash instantly. And that was expected. Uh, other than that, everything looks good. Everything's the same audio. I run latency at zero for the most part, like as low as possible. This is something else. If you're having a problem with your computer, you can kind of make changes here. I think that's it. Like, I don't think we got anything else going on here. Mixer. No, that's it. So, we have installed Serato officially, the official version. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this on my club computer yet. I might wait until like the next update, uh, but it's definitely on my home computer now and I'm going to play around with it very soon. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this fire and I will see you next video. Let's go. Serato Stems is here. Who's excited? Like, let me know in the comments right now who is excited by this. Thank you.